Hey everyone, I am here today to do uh, another review for Wig Studio One. This is Felicity by John Renault in the color 433. Felicity is adorable. I can't wait to tell you all about her. But before I do, I want to tell you a little bit about Wig Studio One. So Wig Studio One is an online retailer. They also have a Facebook group called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. And I just love the ladies over at Wig Studio One. All of the ladies and all of my wig sisters. I first made a purchase Actually, let me back up. My first purchase of helper hair about a year and a half ago was made through Wake Studio One, and that's the first Facebook group I joined for hair loss and wig support. So I am so, so thrilled to be a guest reviewer for them, and they sent me this wig today to review for you. So check out wigstudio1.com. They have deals all the time. They do a live on Sundays where they sell open box items that are at a deep discount and the Facebook group is so helpful and I'm a huge fan and I know some people don't like to uh, be a part of Facebook. I totally understand that but I think it's just a wonderful way to get support with wig wearing. So consider Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group on Facebook. All right, let's get on to Felicity. Felicity is a John Renault wig that has a full mono top and I can't wait to show that to you. I'm really really excited to have a chance to review a full mono top wig because I get sent a lot of basic cap wigs and I think it's so fun sometimes to get a chance to show these uh, these fancy cap feature wigs and so I'll talk a little bit about that. So let's just take a look at Felicity really quickly. She is a super cute wavy layered kind of shorter mid-length style. So fun and sassy. I want to show you this awesome movement. She is so lightweight. It just feels like air on my head. So lightweight. So Felicity is a uh, kind of layered curly style. She's got a long fringe in the front. It isn't really a, a short enough to be full bangs but real real easy to either cut a heavy bang in if you like heavy bangs or um, you know she, you could she sweeps so, to the side so great if you just wanted to pull a few wispies forward and trim those up you could do that too super easily. This color which I will get outside with let me just do a quick readjusting of her since I was just messing her up. This color is so gorgeous. So 433. 4 is a dark, dark brown and 33 is a dark auburn. So when you mix these two colors together you get an unbelievably rich, chocolatey, dark color. It's simply stunning. I'm not going to be able to show you real well in the house here. First of all, it's looking a little shiny. I think I can see I have a ring light here, a ring light here, and then I've got my bathroom lighting. And so really I'm hoping to showcase the fibers in the wig really well with this lighting, but I will get outside so you can see this color outside because it is so awesome. But it's really dark and then you've got just kind of woven through it in places uh, that dark auburn, that 33 and it's just dynamic. It's not heavily highlighted and so that's what I really like about it. It's just these pops and peaks of color all throughout but it's not like streaky highlighted. It's really cute. Um, and so for my dark brunette sisters who just love their dark rich chocolatey colors, 433 is spectacular. Something that I want to talk a little bit about is when you get dark, dark brunettes like this, it can be really, really hard to make the lace front look extremely natural. I think John Renault does a fairly good job with their lace fronts, but I have noticed I had Cameron in this color. Um, I think I've had another wig in this color too. You can see the knotting a little bit on these dark, dark pieces. So I'm going to show you what the lace front looks like. Let me make sure she's situated. And you'll be able to see here that you can just see that knotting ever so slightly. I'm going to try to get close enough that you can see it. It's, 
it's such an art filming these videos. Um, so what that means is uh, every okay. So everybody's a little bit differently sensitive to knotting on wigs. I tend to have a bit of a higher threshold for knotting. It kind of depends on the wig, but I've learned in the year and a half I've been wearing wigs, people aren't that observant. And so they don't really notice a lot of things. They're not studying your hairline or, you know, different things on a wig. And when you look at other women who aren't wearing wigs, you get all kinds of things. So sometimes women will have a really dense hairline and it's just their hairline. So I would say some people are not going to be bothered by this lace front. And some people aren't going to like the knotting because because you just you can kind of see it. I will say from my experience with wigs with a color this dark, this is actually really pretty good. If you have super high sensitivity to knots, I would recommend working your way to lighter colors because the lighter the, the fibers, the less those knots will show. Um, or, you know, wearing some bangs or wearing hair so that the hair is down and you're not pulling it off. You can't really see the knotting on this when you wear the hair down. It's just if you want to be able to pull the hair up, which is a fun thing you can do with these mono tops and with the lace fronts. So that's what I'm going to say about the knotting. Let me show you about, let me show you the cap. So Felicity has a full mono top and that's going to give you so much styling flexibility and allow you to part anywhere. Uh, you know, it's got the, the nice soft ear tabs with the metal stays, uh, an extended nape with the velcro adjusters. Uh, Felicity is very, very comfortable. I would, um, I have, you know, she's cinched in ever so slightly on me. She, she really fits real comfortably. Um, just really true to average, I would say. Um, something that I think is awesome about these mono tops. Yeah, she's, she's pretty true to average. I would say if you are average, to even getting towards average large, I think this is gonna fit you really comfortably. She has awesome coverage on me. I've got room to cinch her in. I have room up here. She's got great stretch. All of those things, along with my measurements, are telling me that average to average large are gonna be great on this. An average petite, she might feel a little big on you, especially when you've got extra cap up here. Um, so just keep that in mind. So let's just talk about the mono top. So when you have a full mono top on a wig, you suddenly have flexibility to, I'm gonna grab my comb here, to part her anywhere you want. And that's gonna be really crucial for my wig sisters who are right hand parters. I tend to be a left hand parter. I always have parted my hair this way. And so that's just kind of a happy coincidence because so many of the wigs with just a mono part come with a left hand part. Very few come with right hand parts. So, so either you're forced to change your part or buy a full mono top. So what's great about this is you can part in the middle, you can part on the side, and you've got that mono filament that's gonna give you the look of scalp anywhere you part. So you get so much flexibility. It also allows you to find how you like the way that the layers and the curl pattern lay better. Maybe you're just flexible on your part. So then you can play around and kind of look in behind. And it, it does let you change up that look a little bit. Whenever you part hair, how it was cut and layered, it's gonna lay a little differently. So it does give you some great flexibility. Something else a full mono allows you to do is it allows you to pull it up in the middle, which I, I sometimes think is so cute, maybe in a top knot. And then you've got part there, part there, and you can pull it up and do a cute top knot or a clip. So I would say these full mono tops are really, can be worth their weight in gold if you like to play around with hair and styles because it gives you a lot of flexibility. Now, they're uh, called, considered a premium cap feature, so they do cost a little bit more, so keep that in mind. Um, other than that, I think this is just adorable. It's so lightweight. It doesn't have much in the way of permatease at all. Um, you know, the mono top here, you're not going to get poofy permatease. And any permatease that does exist on Felicity is the minimal, minimal crimpy fibers that attach, that they sort of stick near the wefting. 
And so let me quickly tell you, with permatease, there's so many variations of it. You can get the pillowy, pillowy, thick permatease that you'll sometimes find in basic cap wigs that give hair a lot of volume and lift. You can find just minimal, minimal crimpy little fibers that are almost like what you get if you lightly back comb your hair. Just give it a little lift off the cap. That's what this one has. And I believe with all my heart that these kind of wigs that have a little bit of curl and wave and some layers need that minimal permatease. I just have found when, when wigs really have no permatease, they're, they don't look as good. They're lifeless a lot of the time. They don't hold a style. So that's better suited to a straight style that you want to lay super flat. Not so much to these layered kind of curly wigs. Um, the fibers feel great. John Renault fibers always feel so good out of the box. And this is pretty much out of the box. I did just spray her down a little bit with water and kind of scrunched her and shook her up. I do have an out of the box, so stick around for that. She really doesn't look much different. Uh, this one I think is a winner. I, I love it. I think this one's going to be super cute with headbands. Um, let me grab my square band. I should just pause it, but those of you who've been with me for a while know I just do these. I don't edit. I, you know, I'm in my bathroom and I'm talking with my wig sisters, and that's how I like it. I, you know, have attempted to get a little set in my basement. My husband built me one with a background. I don't like it. It's not. It's not the same. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I just like doing this in my bathroom with you guys. Okay, this is just impromptu. I would work on this a lot more to try to style. But I mean, with a style like this, you're going to be able to get it off the face. You're going to be able to wear cute headbands. You're going to be able to wear clips. Um, so many styling options. So I am just really loving this. I mean, just look at how easily she shifts around. And I've done nothing. I haven't put product in her. She's just really cute. So that's what I got for you guys. I just want to keep playing with her. Because she's got good hair density, she really does give you some options to make her big and beautiful and scrunched if you like big hair. Or you can tame her down, you can take your wide tooth comb to her, and you can just arrange her however you want. She's very tuckable, just adorable. The coverage is awesome. She comes way, way down on me. So I'm a fan. I think Felicity is adorable. Uh, stick around. You'll be able to see her outside. What else? Um, yeah, I think that's it. Out of the box and outside coming up. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys. I am here to show you this beautiful 433 outside. It's really windy. I'm going to try not to get poked in the eye buy a synthetic fiber, which if that's never happened to you, it doesn't feel very good. <laughs> okay, let's go around to the white. Oof, it is super windy out here. Try to make sure you can really see this color. It's such a pretty dark, dark, warm, rich, chocolate brown with this beautiful 33 running through it. I'm gonna spin a little bit so you can see how the light plays on it. See all that beautiful dynamic, really rich red. It's so warm, it's a very warm color. It got real messy with the wind, but this isn't really here for the wig as much as for the color. All right, everyone, I hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to you later.